New at 10, 15 young ladies from San Francisco's Baby District rock the runway at Union Square this afternoon. Organizers say it is... The fuck is this? The fuck you come from? Goddamn, where you come from? Goddamn, Manny Fresh. Organizers say it is more than a fashion show. It's a display of what's possible when young people in an underserved community are given opportunities. ATVU's Amber Lee attended the event called Suit Up. The teens tell her this event and the program are transformative. Come on. Beauty from San Francisco's Bayview neighborhood is on full display at Macy's Union Square. See, I like this. I'm not. I'm not against this, man. The sister, the young sisters, they look nice. They dress them professionally. I'm not against this, man. I'm I'm for this shit, man. Come Beauty from San Francisco's Bayview neighborhood is on full display at Macy's Union Square. Naray Evans, everyone, age 14. Young African American ladies, ages 12 to 20, walk the runway in an event called Suit Up. I've never been dressed in a suit, so I was like, oh, this is cool. Cool and empowering. Demaya Culpepper, she's 15 years old. See, they don't really got confidence like that walking. They, they need to learn confidence. Put your shoulders back, your head up, because they don't, they not used to dressing like this. I think this is a good thing, man. It's better than a fucking twerk contest, I tell you that much. Damaya Culpepper tells me the business attire is a tool for breaking stereotypes. They um, just portray us as like loud and ghetto or angry, but they Hold on, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on, let me, 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 Stereotypes. They um, just portray us as like loud and ghetto or angry, but this is like, I feel like this is introducing us, putting us in a better light. This event. Who is they, man? God damn white folk, man. Y'all, y'all white folk, y'all ain't even there, man. They already fucking with you, white folk. <laughs> man, you white folk will break, man. They didn't even gay you. See, this the thing. White folk, y'all done gave these niggas Juneteenth. And you thought they was gonna be happy. You thought, okay, just just give them Juneteenth. I mean, um, fucking Floyd. We we we'll change the name of the Redskins, change the name of the Cleveland Indians. And get these niggas Juneteenth. It would cut bail and all that shit. And maybe these niggas would be happy. No more bail. Juneteenth and we changed the name of the Redskins. And these niggas still ain't happy. Blaming you for shit, y'all ain't even there. They blaming white people for shit. Well, uh, well, it is a white man there. Yeah, it's a white white woman here. Yeah, no, yep, and a white woman here. Cause somebody had to pay. For <laughs> somebody had to pay for these these clothes, man. These clothes ain't cheap, man. <laughs> and somebody had to set up the venue and shit. Somebody had to make the. Somebody had to publicize it. Somebody had to make sure there's security. Yeah, so. Yeah, white folk in the building. So yeah, y'all involved. So yeah, y'all get y'all involved. Yeah, so yeah, y'all y'all put yourself in the yeah organizing. <laughs> y'all niggas, y'all put yourself in the line of fire. So yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't blame them for for coming after you. You put yourself in the line of fire, man. You salute to Eric S coming through, man. Salute to Stana. Stanis. The building. Pepper. She's 15 years old. Damaya Culpepper tells me the business attire is a tool for breaking stereotypes. They um, just portray us as like loud and ghetto or angry, but this is like, I feel like this is introducing us, putting us in a better light. This event is a collaborative effort between nonprofits and city agencies to uplift young ladies. It includes an intensive mentoring program 
encouraging them to aim high and showing them dreams can come true. Don't let the single parent home or the deprived community become who you are. Tanisha Mill Hold on, wait. Tell about. I thought it was day. I thought day was making us look bad. Don't let the single parent home or the deprived community become who you are. Tanisha Miller founded Ladies in Power and works with these young people addressing mental health issues, building confidence and self-esteem, and teaching them financial literacy. She, too, is from the Bayview. I didn't let my environment dictate what my future could be. It's all that killing, stealing, robbing, that's, there's more to life. Like you got Hold on, wait a second, man. <laughs> I thought Dave was making us wait a second, man. Hold on, man. Y'all gotta get y'all story straight, man. <laughs> See, sons can't even get their story straight. It's a tool for breaking stereotypes. They um just portray us as like loud and ghetto or angry, but this is like I feel like this is introducing us, putting us in a better light. This event is okay. Can come true. Don't let the single parent home or the deprived community become who you are. Tanisha Miller founded Ladies in Power and works with these young people addressing mental health issues, building confidence and self-esteem, and teaching them financial literacy. She, too, is from the Bayview. I didn't let my environment dictate what my future could be. It's all that killing, stealing, robbing, that's... It's more to life. Like, you got to just go out there and want it for yourself. This 17-year-old tells me this runway event represents the best of her community and hopefully sets an example for others. I'm not just here modeling. I'm also standing up for me, my community, people around me, people that I love. I'm modeling for them. If you choose to do better things in life, the things that I keep you on the right track, then eventually you'll succeed. Organizers say this event gives these young ladies a voice and, more importantly, a foundation for success. After all, empowerment never goes out of style. Power, look at them shine. In San Francisco, Amber Lee, KTVU. You Gladys, man. Y'all have a different breeds. Salute to you, Gladys, man. Thank you, for, thank you for organizing this, Gladys, man. Thank you, Gladys, for organizing this for us, man.